This is Dr. Tamia Guest with Rejuvenating Chiropractic. This is Nira Reed with Modified Baby Nutrition Health Coach. People. This is Karen Marcel with June Street Barbershop. This is Tiffany Marcel people. with Marcel Luxury Realty, and you're listening to Boss Talk Radio. I Welcome to this week's Boss Tax Tips. So last week we were talking about tax planning. And as you know, uh, over the weekend, there was the blow up about the president's uh, tax situation and everything. And one of the questions that came up, uh, I think it was related to his haircut situation. And we're not going to say whether or not that's legit or not. But uh, the question got to, well, when is something a legitimate deduction and whatnot. So we talked about uh, deductions in the term of the week, but um, on the tax tip, what we want to add to that for you guys uh, is a deeper understanding about a business expense. Um, so this part is about being ordinary and necessary. So um, it's section 162 of the Internal Revenue Code, uh, affectionately known as the uh, IRC, that discusses guidelines for business expenses. The IRC allows businesses to report any expense that may be ordinary and necessary. To be deductible, a business expense must be both ordinary and necessary. So let's talk about what that is. An ordinary expense is one that is common and accept it in your trade or business. A necessary expense is one that is helpful and appropriate for your trade or business. So the thing is though, an expense does not have to be say indispensable to be considered necessary. Now, generally ordinary means that the expense is common in the industry and most business owners in the same line of business or trade would potentially expense these things. Necessary means that the expense helps in doing business and it's appropriate in that business. And a business owner might not be able to handle the business if he or she did not make that expenditure. So an expense that meets the definition of ordinary and necessary for business purposes is expensable and therefore tax deductible. Now, keep in mind, some business expenses may be fully deductible while others are partially deductible. This goes back to that part about planning. This is why you want to talk to your tax professionals uh, prior to just running. I was like, oh, I could write this off or whatever, and it's deductible. So um, on our page, uh, we actually have um, on the tax tools and tips section, if you go to our website, uh, put it on the screen there for you. It's EliteEightFinancial.com. Uh, and it's the segment uh, Overlook Deductions, uh, EliteEightFinancial.com slash Overlook Deductions. Um, you can find virtually any industry on here, and it's some very common overlooked uh, deductions that you may want to review your tax return, see if you captured those things, plan to uh, track those things in the coming year or whatever, so you can maximize um all of your legal tax deductions. This has been your boss tax tip. We'll see you guys next week. Mm-hmm.